Welcome people, welcome to the tutorial that makes magic. This is a tutorial which is every girl's dream. A fairy godmother which turns plain Jane Cinderella to a hearty worthy of a Vogue's cover. For this, first things first, we need to select a headshot photograph like we did in this case and paste it in Photoshop. Then we go on and select the background layer and duplicate it by hitting Ctrl J thrice. Pay attention, Ctrl J three times. Then we select the layer background copy three and set its more I'm sorry set its opacity to a 15 change the layers blending mode to a soft light and if I could say so it is the default favorite blending mode as far as this tutorial is concerned then we go on and select the background copy to layer and go to the filter menu and select blur and specify it to a Gaussian blur. Then we set the Gaussian blur's radius to a 4.2 pixel. Then we change the layer's blending mode to a soft light. Now we have to select the layer background copy and go to the filter menu again to the blur and the Gaussian blur and set the I'm sorry the Gaussian blur's radius to an 8.5 pixel then we change the layers blending mode to a soft light and change it its opacity to a 15 percent now we have to create a new layer and for that we choose the color hash DCB995 I repeat hash DCB995 as the foreground color and then we fill the foreground color in this newly created layer by using the keyboard shortcut alt delete we rename the layer as brown underscore BG just to make our life simpler and then we change the layers blending mode to a soft light as expected then we create a new layer and choose the color hash CE9090 as the foreground color I repeat hash CE9090 then we fill the foreground color in this newly created layer and we use the keyboard shortcut alt and delete rename this layer as pink underscore bg and change the layers blending mode to a soft light then we select the pen tool and create a path around the right eye of the skull just pay attention to the path that we have in this picture now we create a new layer and convert the path into a selection and for that we have a keyboard shortcut that is control and enter then we have to open the feather selection pop-up window and it is done by the shortcut control alt and D and we have to set the value of this feather, feather radius to a 5 pixel don't be scared people, we're just halfway through this tutorial and now we have to choose black as the foreground color. Fill it in this newly created layer by using the keyboard shortcut Alt Delete. We rename this layer as Coal underscore line underscore one. Then we set this layer's opacity to a 53% so that the right eye can now be seen through coal underscore line underscore one and then we select the pen tool and create a path around the white of the right eye just pay attention around the white of the right eye and then 
we convert this path into a selection by using the shortcut control enter then we have to select the feather selection pop-up window for that the shortcut is control alt delete I'm sorry control alt and D and set the feather radius as 2 pixel and then we select call underscore line underscore one and delete the path that we selected in the previous slide and set its opacity to a full hundred percent now we set call underscore line underscore one's opacity to an 80 percent then we have to duplicate this layer and for that we have to hit Control and J and as we have to make our life easier we rename this layer as coal underscore line underscore 2 then we transform this layer and for that we have to use the shortcut Control plus T we right click on the transform path and select flip horizontal from the drop down menu which appears and then we use the move tool and set call underscore line underscore two over the left eye of this girl now we have to choose the color hash f4 a 2 as the foreground color just like in real life in photoshop 2 no makeup is complete without rouge you need rouge to pep up your face same is the case here and for that we have to create a new layer called rouge then we select the brush tool just like in real life and set it to a soft mechanical brush with the size of 175 pixel and opacity of 100% and a flow of 50% and then select the layer rouge and use the brush tool on the cheeks of this girl like I said just like real life then we have to set the rouge's opacity to a 16% now we don't want our subject to give competition to a circus clown so we have to have to absolutely have to remove the excess of blush I'm sorry the, the rouge like we said in the previous slides so for that we have to use our much trusted eraser tool and we have to set it to a soft mechanical brush and a size of 100% and opacity of 50% and a flow of 100% then we use the eraser tool and remove the extra part of the rouge on the left cheek of this girl. It is time for us to deal with the crowning glory of this girl, that is the hair. Pay attention to this image. We have to select the pen tool and create a path around the hair on the right side of where this girl's hair is parted and then we convert this part into the selection by using the keyboard shortcut say with me people control and enter then we open the feather selection pop-up window keyboard shortcut is alt control and D and set the value of this radius as a 10 pixel now we create a new layer and name it left underscore hair we select the gradient tool now with the re I'm sorry a linear gradient and select blue red and yellow gradient from the gradient picker and fill it from the top left to the bottom right then we change the layer and I'm sorry we change the layers blending mode to a soft light after that we repeat the process that we described in the slides 27 28 29 and 30 and 
we have to create a new layer that is called the right underscore hair and fill it with yellow violet orange and blue gradient from top left to bottom left I'm sorry top right to bottom left and then as expected we have to change the blending mode to a soft light so guys with that it is a wrap for this tutorial and remember what you learn from this tutorial is very important looking good is pure hard work don't ignore it pay compliments to us or the consequences can be dire just kidding take care and enjoy your work ta